Are they hard? Are they rock? Are they zombies? Well, let's find out. Hey everybody, hope y'all are doing well today. This week's Take 2 review is Hard Rock Zombies from 1985. This, by no standard, is a great movie. If you're going in just for a normal movie, I'll just get that out of the way right off the bat. Uh, but if you like cheese and you like just utter lunacy and ideas, uh, you might want to listen to the next couple of minutes of me babbling on about this movie. Uh, the first time I was aware of this movie wasn't... I'm not going to say I've been a super long time fan. Uh, it came out in 85 and I was uh, like 8 or 9 something. I don't know when it came out. So 8 or 9 something like that at that time. And, you know, I was, I, I was aware of a lot of stuff I probably shouldn't have been aware of, but I wasn't aware of this movie. Um, but it has a lot of things that I like. It has hard rock, well, sort of. And it has zombies, well, sort of. Uh, it's about two different things. It's about this band who are... They think they're really good, and they think they're right on the cusp of breaking big in hard rock music but if you listen to their hard rock music it's more like light rock <laughs> nothing ever gets anywhere near hard but uh, the directors and producers were Indians so I don't think they understood that concept uh, the, so it's as hard rock as you would have gotten from them uh, but they're supposed to play in this small town and um, when they first well let me back up a second at the very first of the movie you see this girl uh, who lures these guys into going skinny dipping and she kills them and her family watches and takes pictures and you're like what the hell is this and then the next group you see the band well the band end up picking that girl up and uh, she gets tells him hey come stay at my family's place and uh, you know you don't have to spend money for a hotel in town and you know this and that and, you know them being a band of course they're going to go the cheap route well her family is like the other side story of the movie they're actually like Adolf Hitler, Ava Braun, and a bunch of other crazy mess. Um, that side story makes absolutely no sense. Um, it's just really, really fucking out there. But uh, there's also another side story where the like lead singer has this book of ancient uh, spells. And he figures out this spell that brings things back to life. Well, that helps out a little further on down in the movie. When the guys get into town, though, it's supposedly a small Californian town, but it would seem like any podunk town in the back side of nowhere. They don't want the guys there. They don't want no rock music. They don't want anything. Um... And they pretty much make them aware of that. They arrest them. They uh, ban the music in the town and everything else. Well, when they guys do get out of jail, um, they go back to the uh, Hitler's place. And uh, anyways, they get killed while they're there. And there's one little girl in town that really loves the guys. And she loves the lead singer. And... Uh, he even writes a song for which is a little super creepy because she couldn't be but about 14. Um, anyways, he writes a song for it and he also, and records it, he also um, records himself doing the chant that's bringing stuff back to life. Well, those 
Hitler type people end up killing the band. And that girl goes to visit their grave and she's crying and she plays the music. Well, it brings him back to life. Now well, it brings the whole band back to life. And thus starts the crazy mess of zombies going here and there. The band actually plays a show because they can play music and sing, but once they're done singing, they go back to zombie life. Does it make any sense? No. Is it goofy as all fuck? Yes. If you like zombies or you like hair metal, I think you're going to have a good time with this. Uh, I always have. This is the third time I bought this movie. Uh, the first time I had it and I loved it, but I needed money because I was out of work at the time and I sold it. Then I bought a really subpar copy of it because that's all I could find at the time. And now Vinegar Syndrome has released this version. And you can get it right now. Uh, so, if it sounds interesting to you, you can go check it out through Vinegar Syndrome. Or it's probably streaming on Amazon too for a few bucks. Anyways, that's all I got. We'll see you all um, next time.